The Last Straw is a really good film with a really good idea in it. This was released in 2014. It's directed by Rob Diamond and written by Rob Diamond and Shelley Bingham Husk. And this is about a family who come up with this idea to stop their children from bickering. And this idea is they each have to do a good deed or a series of good deeds for different family members. And every time they do a good deed, they can put one piece of straw in the baby's manger so that when it gets to Christmas, they have a, a manger full of straw for the baby Jesus. Now, there are a lot of good deeds to fill up the manger with straw. Thankfully, this is quite a large family, but I really like that idea. And they go about this by putting names in a hat, and then you pick up a name, and whoever you get, you have to do a good deed for that day. And they do this every day in the run-up to Christmas. And honestly, it's a great idea. We don't get to see as many of the good deeds as I would have liked. I would have liked to have seen a bit more of what they were doing for each other, but we did get to see some. And I think it's a, a really great concept, and I've never heard of it before. I don't know if the idea was created for this film or if it's something other people have done before, but I found that to be really sweet and something I can see families actually doing. Obviously, for smaller families, you're going to need to do a lot of good deeds to get enough straw in the manger, but it's a, a really fun idea. We also have... Because it's a large family, we have a lot of different characters with a lot of different problems. No no tremendous problem, but just a lot of small things that I think a lot of people will be able to relate to. We also have this brilliant character called Mr. G, played by Corbin Burnson, and he's actually the neighbour. And he's this kind of typical grumpy old man, but at the same time, the kid's really warm to him, and actually he's a really nice character. And he made me quite emotional a few times. I really love what he brought to this. We also have the family's niece coming to stay with them because she's not necessarily been the nicest of people. So she comes to spend some time with them and obviously she learns to assess the way she's been behaving recently and... and learn the error of her ways basically so there are a lot of things going on here and a lot of different characters and ultimately a beautiful message about being there for other people and doing nice things and it's it's gorgeous and I actually cried I didn't expect to and I will tell you with a spoiler warning the bit that made me well up but I, I really enjoyed it it's a really good film it's very festive it's got a decent amount of Christmas in it all of the characters are likeable. I didn't dislike any of the characters. I did worry that because it's quite a large cast of characters with a lot of different family members, I thought, are we going to be able to connect with any of them? Are there too many people for us to really emotionally connect with any one or few characters? But actually, I found that that was something that was quite easy to do. So I think that was done well. And the focus on certain characters I think worked very well. I really enjoyed it. Great film, great concept, very inspiring, quite fun at times, moving at others. It's pretty decent and I definitely recommend it. So huge, huge spoiler for now as I'll tell you the bit that made me cry. It is a giant spoiler because it's the very last scene actually and it's the scene at the very end where the brother, even though he swapped his good deed so he no longer has his sister, he doesn't get on well with his sister. She just winds him up so much and he's had to do good deeds for her, I think, three days in a row and he's just had enough so he swaps with his cousin. And yet, at the very end, even though he swapped her name, he still does a good deed for her. And it's such a, a sweet moment. And I just, <laughs> I lost it at that point. I, I completely, I, I cried a lot. It was a really emotional journey and I really enjoyed it. It's not too heavy. It is emotional, but it's not, you know, a completely heavy film where your mood is dragged down or anything. It is still quite light, but it's meaningful and moving as well. And ultimately, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it.